Hello and welcome to the next video on organic chemistry. Um, we're going to look at structural isomers. Now structural isomers then are molecules with the same molecular formula, but they have a different structural formula. So I've given you this molecular formula here, C4H10, and the first structural formula I'm going to give you is butane, where we've got carbon after carbon after carbon after carbon, each singly bonded to each other, and then each with their respective hydrogens. The next one I'm going to give you is one called methyl propane. Now, this then is different because I've only got three carbons in a row. So I've only got three there, or I've got three going that way. But I can't join all four up in a single line, so it must be different to that. Okay, these are different. I can't either rotate a bond um, or rearrange the molecule in a way that these two can be the same without breaking bonds. And there's a really important thing to note here. Single bonds can rotate about the bond. And this is really important for this reason, because you need to be careful. Because this molecule here, butane, exactly what I've shown you already, is the same as this molecule, which is the same as this molecule. They all have four carbons in a row, all singly bonded, all with their respective hydrogens. This one goes here and then down. And then this one goes down, across, and down. So all I've done here is we can rotate about the bonds. And they can um, look different, but actually be the same. So you've got to be careful when you're drawing these. And practice makes perfect. And you'll practice, 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 practice these until you can see that they are the same. And actually, you've just drawn them in a different way. OK, so they all have the same structure. And speaking of practice, it's now your turn. How many isomers are there of a molecule with C5H12? Pause the video and have a go of yourself, okay? I said pause! Thank you. Okay, now you've paused and you've had a go yourself, uh, let's have a look. So there are actually three uh, structural isomers of C5H12. We have pentane, which is all five in a row. We have two methyl butane, which is four in a row, with one coming off of the second carbon. If it was off of this carbon, that would be exactly the same as two methyl butane. And then we have two two dimethyl propane, where we have one central carbon and then We've got a CH3 group here, we've got a CH3 group here, we've got a CH3 group here, and we've got a CH3 group here. And actually, sometimes you might see this drawn slightly simpler, and we draw it like this. Okay, so structure isomers then are molecules that have the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. Just as an extension, um, I thought I would show you this. Now, one of the problems with alkenes is that you can no longer rotate about the double bond, okay? It doesn't allow rotation. And that means that here, where my CH3 groups are on the same side here, my CH3 groups are on opposite sides here, okay? And that means that they are different. So these are, they have the same molecular formula, but they are different because you can't rotate about the double bond. And equally, there are molecules where this carbon here in the middle has four different um, atoms or groups attached to it. And that makes a difference because here, this is this is uh, a mirror, okay. 
And what this does, it, it, these are mirror images of each other. Okay, these are mirror images of each other. They have the same molecular formula, but they are different because you can't superimpose them. You can't pick one up and put it on top of the other one if you rotate it around. You would have to break the double bond. It's a bit like your left hand and your right hand are mirror images of each other, but you can't place one on top of the other with your palms down and it being the same. Okay, um, and this is very different here to this one. That carbon only has three different um, atoms or groups attached to it because you've got two hydrogens. This is again the mirror image, um, but if you rotate it, it becomes the same and you can now superimpose those. Okay, if you can't superimpose them, they are said to be chiral. If you can superimpose them, it's said to be achiral. Okay, this is an extension uh, and this comes up at uh, sixth form, uh, but I thought it was worth showing you here just as part of this video. Thank you very much for watch watching and I hope that you continue to do so and you love organic chemistry as much as I do. Bye bye for now.